Hi, this is a video on how to install XBMC on your Nexus 7 device. Now you can use this tutorial to install XBMC on other Android devices, although there will be a few differences and I'm not going to explain those in this video. This is specifically for the Nexus 7. Now I bought the Nexus 7 and I love it. Uh, it is a consumption device, not a productivity device. The iPad's more productivity. But this is only $200 and it's perfect to watch movies on, TV shows, listen to music, surf through the news with a flipboard. But I wanted access to all my TV shows and movies uh, that I own on the go, streaming. And XBMC is perfect for that. I have XBMC on my Apple TV. There are some great add-ons that allow for on-demand TV shows and movies, plus live TV. I'm going to go over those in a bit. Uh, the legality of this, guys, um, this basically streams from different servers, uh, the on-demand stuff. It is illegal if you don't own the content, and there's still even a gray area there. So I urge you, if you're going to use this, only stream content that you own. Uh, if you're going to stream the live TV, have a cable subscription. Uh, but in the eyes of the law, this is still mildly illegal, even if you own the content, which is ridiculous. I think everybody agrees on that, but the law is still catching up uh, with technology. So, first, power on your device. Unlock, and we'll go from there. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is to allow non-Google Play apps to be installed on your device. Very simple. Just go ahead and do the pull down, go to the settings button right here, click that. Then all you have to do is go to security, and you see it says unknown sources allow installation of apps from other sources uh, other than the Play Store. So you hit that and hit OK. And there. Simple as that. Now go back to the main menu. And we're going to open up Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and focus in here so you guys can see what's going on. Uh, open up Google Chrome. And the links for this video will be down below. As I said, I made bit.ly links so they're easy to remember and easy to type in. So here's Chrome. We're going to open up a new tab. And we're going to type in bit.ly slash XBMC for Android. Okay, and then we're going to hit go. And that's going to take you to the XDA developer website. Now, you may want to read through this, uh, especially if you're new, but there are several different kinds of builds here for different devices. The main differences between the devices would be the Neon processors and the non-Neon processors. This uh, video is specifically for the Nexus 7, so you're going to want the Neon processor built. So you're going to scroll down and, you know, like I said, read through this if you want. It kind of explains what's going on here. Um, here is the working add-ons uh, as it is now. Some of the add-ons do not work, but the two main ones that I want do work. So I will show you those later. Keep on scrolling down, and here you actually have the nightly builds, okay? You see neon devices here. That's what we're going to uh, want. Here are the dates, and next to the dates explains uh, kind of what they updated and when it was updated. Um, so you're going to go to the last one here, which was updated on the 13th of November. So you have two mirrors to pick from. doesn't really matter which one you pick. Uh, I'm going to hit mirror one. And it should begin downloading. Starting download. Okay. So this takes a while to download, so I'm going to go ahead and skip forward uh, to when the download is completed and the download is complete. It downloaded an APK package, which is basically the app itself of XBMC. Uh, if you pull this down, it took about a minute, so it didn't take that long. I'm on a regular internet connection, and you can see the download there. So now all you want to do is look at that download, and you're going to open it. Okay, now this is an app. You can see it says XBMC. Do you want to install this application? And of course you're going to hit install right here. Let me focus in there so you guys can see there you go. Install. And now it's installing XBMC. 
And they have uh, done many things with XBMC here and made it very friendly to touch interface. Uh, I've been very happy with it. I did uninstall it just to install it in this video to show you guys how it is done. Okay, now it is done, guys. You have XBMC installed on your device. Simple as that. Didn't have to c connect to a computer with an uh, iOS device. It's a lot more complicated to get things like this on there. But uh, you're going to hit open. And so there you go. XBMC on your Nexus 7 device. And it's done through touch. So it's actually loading. Okay, there we go. Um, so it's very responsive and built for touch. There are still a few flaws with it, obviously. It's not uh, released in the App Store yet, so they're still working on it with nightly builds. But it is very functional. So now we have XBMC on our device. Let's go ahead and download a couple add-ons. Okay, to install two of my favorite add-ons to XBMC, I've made it very simple. Just go back to the home screen, open up Google Chrome, and you can X out of what we had in there before and go to a new tab. And you're going to go to bit.ly slash one channel XBMC again these uh, links will be down in the description so you guys can type them in and make sure you have them correct this will take you to the XBMC hub where you can download the XBMC add-on trying to focus in here so you guys can see kind of zoom in so you guys can make sure you're clicking on the right thing uh, down here you see download and it will download the one channel add-on hit it and you should get a download sometimes this is non-responsive you may have to hit it a couple times so uh, don't get frustrated uh, it will eventually go through so if we get an error here We'll just go back and, oh, there you go, starting download. So this shouldn't take long at all, and it should be done in seconds. This is not a big file. And it's still trying to get a hold of the server, so we'll let it do that. Okay, and it looks like it is completed. Download complete. Okay, so leave that there for now. That is in the download folder of your Nexus 7. Now, go to the link bit.ly forward slash NaviXXBMC. NaviXXBMC. Go. And this is the NaviX add-on, also on XBMC Hub. So you're going to scroll down to download and do the exact same thing. Hit download, and this one's going a little faster. Usually the one channel is a little buggy. For some reason, this one is extremely fast. So now you have both downloads completed. Okay, so you go back to the home screen, and we're going to go into XBMC, which we downloaded first. So, find that app. You can put it on your home screen, obviously, later to make it easier to get it, uh, access to. Open XBMC. Again, that amazing touch interface to XBMC. They've done a great job with this. Um, so, you're going to go to System, okay? So, drag your finger to System. Hit System. Then you're going to go to Add-ons down here. Hit Add-ons. And then you're going to install from zip, because those two files you just downloaded as add-ons are zip files. So install from zip, and it's going to be external storage. Okay, and here's a list of basically your file directory. Let me focus in here so you guys can see. Um, and you're going to go to download. Remember I told you it's in the download folder, so scroll down to download. Hit that. There you have NaviX, and you have... Uh, channel 1, but that says repository BSTRDSMKR. That is ch uh, one channel. Sorry, that's channel 1. Um, so install one channel first. And you'll see down here it says uh, it's adding the, re the repository. Okay. 
Now you're going to do the exact same thing. So go in, external storage, scroll down to download. Instead of going to the, uh, the BSTRD repository, you're going to go to NaviX. Okay, hit that, and NaviX has been enabled. Okay, so now you, all you need to do is download... Oops, sorry about that. Let's go back into XPMC. Okay, now all you need to do is go back. And I would, uh, I'm going to show you uh, Navi first because sometimes it takes a little while for one channel to show up in the uh, video add ons. So let's go to programs. Okay, and we're going to go to uh, program add ons. And there you see Navi X. Open up Navi X. Boom. The Navi X add on. So now you want to find some live TV. You can mess around with this yourself, but uh, I always go to the media portal, the first one. And uh, the most reliable are usually the most viewed 24 hours. And then let's go to, um, let's go to, where is it? No. Well, you can go to really anything. Um, let's go to live TV. And it's loading. Let's go ahead and watch. Um, we'll see if A and E is up. Hit A and E, and you should get A and E live on your Nexus Seven. There it is, live TV, right there on your Nexus Seven. So, pause that. Go back. Uh, you may find a few bugs with this, guys, but overall it's very smooth. Very happy with this. Uh, so you're going to go all the way back and keep hitting back until you can exit the program. Because this is a program, it's not a, uh, a video add-on. Alright, so you exit there. Keep on going back until you're back to the main menu. Okay. So, and the video can play in the background. That's, that's what that is. Uh, so now you're going to scroll over to Videos. And it's going to take a break, and I'll show you guys how to install the One Channel add-on. Okay, now you're back to the menu screen, and you want to install the One Channel plugin, which is personally my favorite plugin. It's on-demand movies and on-demand TV shows. So you're going to hit Add-ons down here in, uh, under Videos. I'll take you to the Video Add-ons. And they're going to hit Get More, because you still have to download that add-on. What you added was just basically the repository... Uh, which allows you to download one channel. So up here you see one channel plugin. You want to hit that. And it says everything about it. You just hit install here. And it will also, uh, by default, I believe, install the YouTube app. Okay, now you can see it says downloading here. Oops, sorry about that. It says downloading next to one channel. It takes a while sometimes for it to uh, kick in. Again, one channel is a little bit laggy when it comes to connecting to their servers, uh, but that's no problem when uh, actually using the app or the add-on because it connects to other servers that aren't uh, one channels. So uh, it's 98% done. It'll be done in a second. Okay, common plug-in cache, and then boom, enabled. So now you have one channel on your Nexus 7. Hit back. And as I said, YouTube is also on there. Uh, it's a good app, especially for the Apple, uh, Apple TV that I own. But for the Nexus 7, you probably just want to use a mobile app. It's a lot uh, more user-friendly. So open one channel. And uh, they're saying they got a big update coming. Okay, got it. And there is one channel. So you can either watch movies or TV shows. So let's go ahead and go to movies. Um, and you're going to go to, let's just say, most popular. Okay, and I actually own the Hunger Games, so I'm going to hit Hunger Games. Okay, and here you have a long list of uh, servers that it streams from. Uh, Put Locker is one of my favorites. File Nuke's great. Uh, so let's go to Put Locker. There you have it. The Hunger Games. Streaming straight to your device. Simple as that. 
go ahead and stop that. Okay guys, so that's XBMC. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I would say post them in the uh, XBMC forum. Uh, I am not a specialist uh, whatsoever. I'm actually a pretty, uh, pretty average Joe when it comes to technology. Uh, but I wanted to make a video that was easy for you guys to watch and easy to figure out how to put XBMC on your devices. Um, because I, I kind of had trouble figuring out how to do it, even though it is very simple. Uh, had trouble finding a great tutorial. So hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, take care.